everyone and welcome to Creative Suite TV. Now, sometimes when you're working in Photoshop, you need to use you know, a number of the tools and what do they do? And this week, we're going to focus on the clone tool or the heel brush tool. So to help us out with this particular tool, I thought I'd bring a friend along who's really awesome at using the clone tool. Here he is. Here he's a little bit of a tool, but uh, what, how do you how do you think you might go with this? Yeah, I think all right. Yeah. So it's going to be a great episode. Hopefully you'll get it right and the clone tool or the heel brush tool. Hope you enjoy it. Get off. Here. In order to get this technique right, we need to have a look at a couple of different tools uh, so we understand what's going on. And they're kind of related. The first one, the original one, is the clone stamp tool. That's why people call it, call it cloning when we're removing things out because, well, that's the name of the tool. And the idea with that tool is that we can sample from one spot, so hold down the Alt or the Option key and click, and then move the cursor and then we can paint over the top of another. And what we're in fact doing is copying from the X and painting over the circle or the brush size. And we can change the size of a brush as we go along. And then that does that and it's happy days. Okay, so when we have an image like this, we have a great big crease uh, across there. It's a great technique. Alt, click, paint, and then away we go. The problem can come though, let's undo that. The problem can come though when we're facing a couple of different uh, tones. For example, if I was to sample over here and then paint here, we can get a different tone. So you can see it's slightly lighter there. We'll zoom in and have a look. Doesn't really match exactly in. So a better tool to use, even though it's almost exactly the same way, is the heel brush tool. This is generally speaking a great tool. It keeps the texture intact and then it even blends the tones in for you. Let's have a look at the heel brush tool. I'd recommend that you use this one uh, most of the time. So here's what we do. Find a problem, check. Grab the heel brush tool, check. And then sample a nice area of the image. So Alt key down, click and then paint along or over that problem. So we've got a, a large problem there. We paint it over, you see the tones aren't exactly matching, but when we release the cursor, they blend in. That's amazing, I'm sure you're all saying that. Well, it is amazing, but we do sometimes come across small issues where we run into um, a side area. So here's what you do, Alt key down, click, and if you paint up to it, this is what I'm talking about, you paint right up to the edge and watch what happens when I release the cursor. Boom. We get what's uh, commonly known as a color explosion. That is uncool. Okay, so here's what we do. You clone or you heal along with the grain. So if you've got a, a building or a straight line, a post or something like that, or the edge of a jacket, you do this. Hold key down, click on the edge, and then we're pasting this. So you see I move my cursor. We're actually painting that bit. We line it up with the edge of the post, the jacket or whatever it is, and then click and paint left to right. And then we get a nice smooth blend like that. And then we get a really great little thing. Okay, so that's there's a, a great little tip. Another tip of course is, is this. We wanna work non-destructively. So here's another tip. Do a brand new layer, and then when you go to the heel brush tool, okay, make sure you select at the top here, all layers. Sample all layers, so that when we're retouching, we're painting onto a brand new layer, but we're sampling from underneath. So let's try that. Alt key down, sample, move the cursor, paint left to right, blends in beautifully, and it's on this layer. And if I turn that layer on and off, let's have a look. 
the original is still underneath. And a beautiful old photograph like this, you probably want to make sure that you've got the original underneath so you can compare and contrast your work. So that's a great little tip as well. Another tip. In this particular image, we've got lots of tiny little problems. And using the heel brush tool itself is probably overkill. This is where we can use the spot healing brush tool. And this is a great way of touching up just tiny little things. Make a smaller brush. I just use the square bracket keys. And then all we need to do is make sure we have, again, sample all layers, click that on, and then bang. Just do a single click on each of these little problem areas and then that will remove them out. Even that one probably does a good job and then you can just quickly paint out those areas. Isn't that neat? I think that's a really great uh, little tip to be able to do that. Okay, now we've got one more little tip for you um, and incidentally this is my, my dad so say hello to um, uh, Mr. Mike. He's got some paint there or something on this old photograph um, we need to fix that up. We're going to come across some, some real strife here. Uh, here's what we've got to do. Go back to the healing brush tool and instead of the mode being normal, we're just going to say replace. So that will stop the blurring because we're going to go up to this edge. Okay, we do that. Sample all layers and we're just going to soften this brush up by shift left square bracket. We're going to soften it to match the softness of dad's chin that looks about right now we say alt or option click and in this case we need to paint around like that to match that side and now sample again and we'll zoom in for this alt click right here on the chin move it over and we're just matching that area there and we click move it up match this area here click and we will just about there one more and then we can fix that up. One more little click over here and I think we'll be done. There we go. So now what we've done is a great little retouch. The replace mode takes over that blending so we can really do a nice job of retouching. That is using the heel brush and the clone tool and the spot healing brush tool. Really hope you enjoyed this episode of Creative Suite TV. So from me and also me and my dad, and that's Herb Elliott. If anyone wants to Google him, I'm sure you'll find some interesting reading. Thanks again. We'll see you all again real soon.